everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today we're gonna to discuss framing, but not the framing that you're thinking of. What I wanted to do was find a solution that would be inexpensive, that would allow me to kind of switch out the paintings that I have on display. I'm gonna be honest, I've only completed about four paintings ever because I have nine in progress. So when I finally do finish one, I want it to be on display but I don't necessarily wanna go spend the money to have it custom framed because I know me, I won't do it any other way than custom framing because I was a custom framing manager and I know the perks and the benefits of it. So what are we gonna do in the meantime? Here is my solution. So I've got a piece that I finished and this one is a portrait. And what I mean by that is that it is longer than it is wide. So because of that information, what I did is I purchased a magnetic poster hanging frame that is 16 inches wide. Now, keep in mind that our out artwork size is a little less than 16, so this size is about 18. I have not trimmed this canvas down yet because I do not know if I'm going to um, stretch it at some point where I'm gonna need this extra background. So I'm not cutting those off right now, but I wanted to demonstrate this because you can order this in an 18 inch, you can order it in a 20 inch. And so whatever the dimensions are of the width of your painting, that's the size you want to purchase. The one that I got is white because I thought it would look best with this one. But keep in mind, if your painting that you've just completed is landscape, which means it's in this direction, you need to measure from here to here to know what size magnetic frame you want. Now that's gonna make sense in a minute when I show you this and I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Now I do wanna mention um, before I actually do this demonstration that if you guys want to stretch your finished piece on a canvas stretcher bar, I have a video that explains how to do it yourself. It's very inexpensive, it's about $5. Um, actually probably less than that if you already have a stable gun with staples. So be sure to catch that video for those of you who really like these on a canvas stretcher bar. So this one is just gonna be a little more simple. It's definitely magnetic. So you can see it's got a little hanging, it's like a little suede lace that is the hanging hardware for this piece. All these two pieces do is magnetize together. So the whole gist of it is, is you're gonna place it under your painting and then, and you know, I'm assuming it's gonna be strong enough to go through canvas. I never even thought about that, but it does. Okay, ooh. So that, I'm just lining it up. Assuming that I had trimmed my canvas already, okay? <laughs> that is how it would hang. So all you're gonna do is at the bottom, the same thing, and all this does is just gives it a finished look. So, if this had been trimmed to size, this part would be cut off, this part would be cut off, and so would the top. Now, if you would like to, you could bring, since I've got this top border right now, I'm gonna do it this way. I can bring it up to the top and bring this to the bottom. And then I'm gonna hang it and take a picture and show you what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. I hope you found this little magnetic frame and super inexpensive alternative to framing. You guys, make sure you uh, subscribe, like, and share so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you, as always, for watching.